So welcome. We are so glad you could join us today for our special kids worship. Today we will have a chance to look at some art made by one of our own young people and to think about the message it shares about God and the way God is at work in the world. But before we get there, to begin, we have a call to worship from Psalm 85, which has come to be known as a prayer for peace, which is what we think about on the second Sunday in this special church season of Advent and what we hope and pray for in our lives, in our homes, and in our world always. So as we begin our call to worship, I will say the first line, and then you can say the second line, the response. We open our hearts and minds to God, along with Pastor Jen. Friends, listen carefully to what God is saying to our world today. We open our hearts and minds to God. God comes to us today speaking peace and offering love. We open our hearts and minds to God. We will try our best to live following God's way of hope, peace, joy, and love, even when it isn't so easy. We open our hearts and minds to God. The Lord gives us what is good. We open our hearts and minds to God. So friends, will you pray with me? God of hope and peace, we thank you that you gather us together even when we can't sit next to one another right now. We thank you that you are strong and bold enough to speak words of peace into our lives and into our world that so need it. When we are worried and unsettled in ourselves, help us to focus on you and your care. And when we look at the world and the places that are hurting and lack peace, help us to know how we might share your love and follow you in what we say and do as those you call to be peacemakers. We know that when we follow you, it is possible for love and faith and blessing and peace and hope and wholeness to come together. And that we can be people who help to make that happen with the gifts you have planted in us. So open our minds and hearts up to the wisdom, guidance, forgiveness, and direction you have for us so that we will be your love bearers, justice workers, and peacemakers in your world, no matter our age. We pray this in the name of your son, Jesus, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So friends, this is the Advent week when we talk about peace. Peace can be a bit of an overwhelming thing to think about, especially when we think about how Jesus said those words, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called children of God. When I think about that, I think I know a lot of children of God and we are not always peacemakers. <laughs> but that's because I oftentimes think about peace as the absence of war or fighting in the world. And I don't know how to put an end to those things especially not by myself. Oftentimes that fighting is about people who don't have an equal amount of things like money or oil or food or safety. While knowing that one of our friends at church, Ella, really enjoys art, I asked her if she might have some art she could share with us today for Peace Sunday. And she sent me back this beautiful painting you see here on your screen. She said that when she looks at it, she thinks about the gifts of the Christmas season and about how God provides. And when I look at it, I see those things and I see animals, different kinds of animals sitting together in peace, even some who might naturally not be friends with one another. And I think about the fact that as beloved children of God, we are called to be peacemakers. So maybe there's someone you know who's having a difficult time they're not at peace, but some of the gifts you have to offer, like a smile or a kind word or a listening ear might help them feel a bit more at peace. Maybe you know of people who don't have enough food or clothing, so you might help buy or donate some food or some new or gently used clothes to them. 
And that helps them find a bit more peace and helps to keep peace for the people like social workers who are usually serving them. Or maybe you have two friends who are fighting and you might be able to listen and make some space even, along with a trusted adult perhaps, for them to come together and to talk. And in that way, you could be a peacemaker too. Just like in Ella's painting, the Christmas season gives us pause. It makes us stop to think about the things like hope and peace a bit more than we usually do in our daily lives all the time. It helps us to think about the gifts that God has given us and the example Jesus laid out for us about how to help others and even to be about the work of peacemaking. And it helps us to see that no matter how different we may think we are from others, God calls us all to come together and to work together to make the world a better place using the blessings that God provides and the gifts that God grants us. So will you guys pray with me for just a moment? God, thank you so much for this special season. When we stop and think a bit more deeply about the possibilities of hope and peace, Thank you for Ella and her talent loaned to and shared with us today, helping us to think about the ways that you provide for us and that you call us to be peacemakers. Help us to see the ways that we can serve others with the gifts you have given us and the small ways we can help to bring about peace in our family, in our friendships, in our community, and in our world. Amen. Thank you.